I think that the yeah, BOJ is maintaining the EU GAAP control policy yeah, in thinking about the Japanese uh, current real economic situation. But uh, I'm not very sure whether BOJ would uh, be able to continue the current policy over the coming quarters since the CPI is increasing steadily. And uh, if people uh, yes, enhance the, this uh, criticism toward the BOZ who are not maintaining the EU policy target, it is becoming more and more difficult to maintain the current policy for the BOJ. Well, it's also becoming very difficult because the market itself is pushing against mm -hmm. those yields and is really testing the resolve of Kudora-san. So if I'm, if I'm not mm -hmm. wrong, when he came in, his very first year of tenure back in 2013, that's when he introduced that 2% mm -hmm. inflation target and has not veered away from it. Is it just a case mm -hmm. of it's just easier to not act than to act? Mm -hmm. Actually, the, yes, it's quite difficult to yes uh, conduct the uh, extraordinary easing that is the yield curve control policy. Uh, uh, for example, the U United States uh, introduced the yield curve control policy or long-term interest rate pegging policy during World War II, but they experienced a very um, uh, difficult hardships at the timing of the exit. So BOJ fully understand the difficulty of exiting from the current policy. That's, uh, I think, the main reason why BOJ wants to maintain the current policy. Yamaoka-san, I'm just curious, we, we're expecting a lot of price hikes to be coming through in the back half of the year, specifically when it does come to food as well. We've already seen some of these hikes starting. Do you think that this is going to impact consumption negatively or do you also potentially think that this could perhaps create the circumstances where people are going to ask for more in terms of wages as well? Mm -hmm. I think that the, yeah, actually the current inflation rate would impact the household consumption negatively. I think that, of course, the BOJ is uh, expressing their uh, intention to wait for the uh, wage increase. But actually, uh, the nominal wage is a lagging indicator, usually. So if BOJ wants to wait for uh, the nominal wage increase, it may cause the risk of lagging behind of the actual inflation. So overall, I think that the current inflation may have the risks of impacting the consumption negatively.